Hi, come on into the kitchen. It uh, is one o'clock. I told you I'd be here at one. So y'all come on in. I'm gonna just give you a few seconds to be coming in. Where I'm gonna show you what my niece sent me. It was a gift. I think it's a Christmas gift. I don't know if it's for last year or this year. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, she sent me a gift. It's called a Vegetti. Let me see. Uh, is it, it Vegetti? Let me get the box. Hang on. I'm back. I'm back. Here I come. It's a Vegetti. Oh, now you can't see it that way. Let me turn the mic. The, oh, no, I can't do that. Well, never mind. You can tell that was planned, can't you? I can't show that box because I have a case on my iPad and I can't turn it around so I can show you. But anyway, she sent it to me, the Jetty Pro, that you get off the TV. And I made her a video when I first got it out of the box. I made her a video of me learning how to set it up. I couldn't figure out where everything was and I finally got it all figured out. She said that I need to show that because it's got so many bloopers on it. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll show that to you. Okay, we've got anybody in here. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. We're going to do... Today, I'm going to make zucchini kale soup. Doesn't that really sound good? It sounds healthy. Uh, but I made some yesterday as a test run. And I still... I had to write down everything I did because I sort of... This is sort of my creation. And I made it for Gary, and he ate it, and he loved it. Now, for him to like soup, that's something. I love soup. I don't care how you make it, but I love soup. And this is very healthy. It's only about 70 calories a cup. So, very healthy, low calorie, uh, and I'll, I'll give you more information on exactly what all goes in it and how many calories and everything. But I've, you see my paper, I scribbled everything down. And I'm going to have to go by it so I can remember exactly what I did today. I'm going to duplicate what I did yesterday. And I was just really experimenting, hoping it turned out good. And it was. We ate it for lunch today. It was delicious. Okay. Now, Melody, are you watching? I hope I remember how to use this little gadget. Since I like gadgets, she sent me one. Now, some of y'all may already have one of these. But it has several blades. It's got a ribbon cut, and that's what I used yesterday. Today, I'm going to use the thin spiral. And once I cut this, now, it's a smaller zucchini, and I didn't do that on purpose. I, I wanted a bigger one, but I had used a little bit of this yesterday, and I looked in the refrigerator, and I didn't have any more. I had intended to go to the store. I didn't. So this is all I got, but I think it's going to work fine. It gives us just enough of the taste that we need. Okay, number one, you stick this in this little thing right there and then now what I wasn't doing right before was holding this little handle down over here I don't know if y'all can see it or not see that little handle the little green handle I've already put this in place there's a little knob here that will secure it to your countertop I don't have my cutting board because it won't it won't hang on to that okay so once I hang on to this with my left hand I'm ready to turn and there it comes did it just go into the little red tray I've got there? You see it? I'm not pushing that hard enough. Come on, keep it on. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Yes, we're doing good. I'm surprised that I'm able to do this. It's only my second time to try it. Okay. You can do squash. You can do zucchini. You can do apples. The little book gave you several things. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to get out of it. Now, turn it loose so I can move it around. Y'all can see this. Can you see what all that did? It just made it really thin, and that's going to go really good in my soup. <laughs> then you just pull that out. Okay. And it's real easy to clean because this comes off. You unlock it, and it comes off. And I won't really go into detail on that. But it's a handy little gadget. If you just really, if you want to make spaghetti, um, that's the little curly spaghetti. And I think they have this in splicers, you know, where you could do that and different ways of making that. So, I've got one of my main ingredients that's going to go in the soup. Now, I've got another little trick i got to do. I'm going to set this over where I'm going to use it on the stove. And i got to move my iPad over. My phone just did something. Let's see. 
Oh, it just showed me I had email. I've got to move, not my phone, my iPad. I've got to move my iPad over here. Y'all going to have to help me. So I'm going to put my zucchini over here first. And I'm going to take, I hope I don't lose y'all. If I do, uh, we'll have to come back. Okay, so far so good. I'm moving over to the other side of the kitchen. And I'm going to set you up right here by the stove. Let me move that out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. And I think that's just about right, if y'all can see. Yeah, I think that's going to do fine. If it's not, I can move it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that back over there until I need it. Okay, y'all still with me? I'm still on. Okay, good. I uh, see uh, Jamie and Linda. Okay, we're making kale, zucchini soup and then we're going to put a little sausage in it a little bit of onion uh so first thing i'm going to do is i think i'm going to start with the onion and the uh, sausage and i'm going to saute it just a little bit get that going and we'll show you exactly what we're going to do i don't want to start that yet where's my knife there's my knife okay and we're not going to use a whole lot of onion just enough to give it just a little bit of flavor okay and i've got this scale because i'm going to weigh my sausage here in a minute. Take that piece off. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. That's not very much onion. Okay, that looks like a good amount right there. And I get my chopper. And I'm just going to chop this up a little bit on my onion. It makes a racket, doesn't it? I could use this one over here. Then you wouldn't be able to see me. Yes. Come on. I had cut this onion up yesterday and put it in the refrigerator, but it's like it's just a little bit juicy. But it's not chopping like as fast as I want it. I could have used my other little chopper. Now, I don't like the way that looks. So, where's my little scooper? I am going to scoop this up and put it over here. And we're going to get a fresh onion. There we go. I don't like the way that looks. Okay. And I hate to waste onion, but you know when you when you cut an onion up, it uh, if you keep it overnight, it don't. Oh, well, now I'm going to cry. Oh my goodness! This and see, this is fresh, and it's tough too. Okay. I think it's going to be better though. I got tears in my eyes, and. Somebody sang me a blue song and I'll be able to cry. Rendell sang me a song yesterday about the Jupiter Blues. I'm so blue, so blue. I got the Jupiter Blues. Now I can really cry and say I got the blues. Okay. It's not too bad, though. Okay, let's cut it up just a little bit. It may be the way this board is sitting sort of uneven because I'm over here on the stove trying to show y'all everything I'm doing. And its tears are coming. Oh, I should have done this beforehand. Okay. Now, let's see if this is really good. Yes. Much better. So, you need to use a fresh onion. Fresh onion. And probably I should have uh, used my little other chopper. Okay, I'm going to get this going before I start bawling here in a minute. I'm going to turn the fire up, put a little bit of Pam in my skillet. I've already used about 10 minutes up, and so i got to get going on this. Uh, <clears throat> may have a little bit too much onion there, so I'm just going to put that in here. Yeah, it's going to be all right. Just about right. That was just like about an inch thick on the end of the onion. Put that on there. I need to get my other dish rag instead of using so much paper towel, but <laughs> if I can just see through my tears. Okay, now what are we going to add to that? We're going to add sausage. Have I got anybody still in here? I can't see you. Oh, my Lord, let me get a towel. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we're back. Okay, now I want this uh, sausage is turkey smoked sausage. And it's two ounces, 90 calories for two ounces. So I only want two ounces. And my uh, onions are beginning to cook a little bit. 
Let's get these onions going. Yeah, y'all make me cry? I'm just gonna cook you since you made me cry. Oh! <laughs> they threw it at me again. Okay. Back to the sausage. Gotta hurry and get this sausage in there so it make me quit crying. Okay. I'm gonna cut off about two ounces. We're gonna see if I do it exactly right. Okay. I think that right there may be two ounces. We're gonna see. Turn my little scale on. And if I had my phone, I could put it up here and let y'all see the scale because I'm going to be truthful. Here we go. 2.1. I'm going to keep it. Okay, 2.1. It's close enough. Okay, we'll put this back in the fridge. And this is turkey. Turkey sausage. Now, you don't have to always use turkey or chicken. You know, if y'all like beef, Gary and I can't eat much beef. And... Uh, I am going to chop this over here on this other board, so I'm going to be out of view for just a second. Because this board is just a little bit sturdy. Well, you can see a little bit. Here we go. See, it chops a little bit better. That board over there just wasn't chopping. It's good. Come on, let's get it going. That is the handiest thing right there. Okay. That's good. Where's my scooper? Put this right in with the onions. Now we got that going. Probably got my fire just a little bit too high. I'm gonna put a little bit more Pam on it. I love to use my Pam because we don't have any calories. And the main thing, what I what I tell everybody, I am not a professional cook. I can throw things together and fix a meal just real quick. That is tasty and delicious. But what I look for is what can be healthy to help me maintain my weight and to lose weight. And low calorie, low sodium, low carbs, no sugar. That's a big job because uh, I had to deal with gout. So there's a lot of no foods that I don't even bother with. I had to deal with uh, diabetes. But now since I've lost 87 pounds, I'm off of my medicine. And uh, at one time I had blood, high blood pressure. I'm off of that medication. But I still watch. I watch my sodium. I watch my uh, sugar. And I watch carbs. And I, I watch fat because I try to keep everything on an even keel. So I'm going to put that on low. And I'm going to start putting my ingredients now in the uh, pot for the soup. Let's get that out of the way. Now we're going to add... Two cups of water. I'm gonna have to get my little piece of paper so I'll make sure I get everything in there. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> have y'all ever seen somebody get on here so disorganized? And that's me. I'm the only person here. Nobody's here to help me. You know, somebody could come over and help me once in a while. Okay. I got this bone chicken broth, and I found that at, at, a, at my Walmart here in, in uh, Palm Bluff does not have it. I'm going to turn that fire plum off. In fact, I'm going to set this over here. I oh, see that? Doesn't that look good? Okay. And that way I'll have this burner to put my pot on. Okay. Did I put, oh, I got the water in there. Now I'm going for my bone broth. And I used two cups yesterday. And it says it's got four servings. So we'll see if it's got two cups today. Here we go. Come on, come on. They sh oh, oh, they shorted me just a tiny, tiny bit. That's just the way people do. Okay. Put it in there. But that's okay. We can just whoop it up with something. So, get another little drop or two out of there. Okay. That's the bone. And the reason why I got that, I had been seeing that a lot where other cooks had talked about using it. And they said it's very healthy. It's got a lot of... Uh, vitamins, and nutritions, and I don't know what. I'll really Google it. Google what bone broth will do. Okay, bone chicken broth. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and set this on, and I'm going to turn the fire up sort of high to get it sort of boiling. First thing I'm going to add to the pot is the zucchini <laughs> that I did on the Veggie Pro. Veggie, veggie Pro. Spaghetti, because it's like spaghetti. Pro. 
And uh, I'm not going to worry about it being long and stringy. Uh, now, yesterday I used the ribbon cut. Uh, today I used a thin cut, so I think it's going to do fine because we're going to puree it a little bit. I'm not too good on my fancy words today. Okay, so this is going to go into the water, and we're going to let that... It won't take but a second to get that ready and going. I'm going to wash my hands. They feel a little bit sticky here. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I had a whole lot of things that I was going to talk about today. Let me look over here and see who's in here. Titania and Gene Simmons. Now, if I don't call your name, it's because you've already scrolled up. And I think sometimes I don't see everybody's name until later, but I do look at the comments later on. Make sure i got this burner on. Sometimes I turn on the wrong one. Um, but I look at the comments later. If you have any questions, I will answer the questions. But the key thing is look for low calorie. If, if you don't like some of the ingredients that I'm putting in this soup, experiment. You know, make up something yourself. If you don't like zucchini, use squash. Uh, if you don't like some of these things that I'm using, you can add to whatever you want. But I'm using the things that are lowest in calorie and that I feel like is very helpful. And not only that, I, I like it. It's tasty to me. So if you'll give it a chance and try it, you ain't got nothing to lose except a few pounds. <laughs> I, Melody, you missed it. You'll have to go back and see it if you just got here. But uh, I did show the little gift that you brought me uh, sent me and uh, it's a handy little gadget no i don't think i'm going to show that video of when i first tried to learn how to operate it that was crazy i couldn't figure out how to get it to stay still and i couldn't figure out how to, to get it to turn in without holding it i finally found all the little knobs and things put buttons to push to get it to working i did read the book but i can't remember but about two seconds okay now what we're going to put in this soup and that water I mean, I've got the bone broth in here going. Is it getting hot? Come on, boil. You know, when you really want something to boil fast, it don't seem like it gets there. It's going to get there in a minute. I found this bag of Fresh Harvest Blend. It says, Eat Smart. Uh, and I found this at Sam's. And it's uh, for salad, soups, or side dish. So I thought, mm, that would go good in my soup. And it's a, a kale blend. Let me see what the ingredients, if I can find the ingredients. Kale, cabbage, broccoli, and Napa cabbage. So it covers it all. And how much do I put in there? Just a handful. And uh, I'll be doing that as soon as this sort of gets down. Um, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons full of tomato paste. One can of diced rosemary, well, it's rosemary and oregano is a seasoning in it, but one can of diced tomatoes. I think, is that it? Let's see. The bone broth, the sausage, the diced tomatoes, and the paste. That's not, and the zucchini, and the handful of kale. Oh, here's my, this is the one I should be looking at. The sausage has got about 90 calories in it. The uh, bone broth has got 60 calories, uh, two cups of water, you know how many calories that is, uh, one zucchini, okay, it's beginning to boil a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the pot so we can get this on the show on the road. I made this yesterday, it makes about four cups of soup and it's already gone, we done ate it all, okay, now I could probably just live on this, I could eat this for lunch every day, I know some of y'all go, oh she's crazy. But it's good. Can y'all hear me? I know sometimes I've been wandering off here. Um, okay. I don't see anybody else. I've got ten people in here, though. I don't see your names, but I see that you're here. Okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, about uh, low calorie. I don't remember. Okay. Y'all just have to catch up. Uh, anyway... Uh, yeah, I would say experiment a little bit. Just add what you want to. You. And uh, where I got the idea was I went to McAllister's and Bryant a couple of weeks ago. Might have been a month or two ago. And they had this special kale uh, soup, kale sausage soup. And I ate some of it. I really wasn't too crazy about it, but it was okay. And, but I, I paid attention to the ingredients. So that's why I decided to make my own. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh... Normally, 
this stove gets to boiling so fast I had because I'm I guess I'm busy doing other things I turn around and then all of a sudden it's boiling and boil it over so you know when you're watching a pot and you're wanting to boil it's not going to do it very fast but we're going to give it a few minutes this is the only thing I got planned today uh, because I didn't go to the store I am eventually going to show you my grilled chicken uh, how I fix that I don't know exactly else what else I've got on the menu in the near future but I'm going to try to think of things I did uh, eat different yesterday because I was with my brother I had to take him to the eye doctor and he had some errands to do so in the midst of the errands it, it already got to be 1230 and I had not eaten lunch and I felt like I needed a little something, so we stopped at this little service station. I never did want to <laughs> eat at a service station, but, you know, don't eat where you buy gas. But they've gotten to where they make pretty good food now. Now it's beginning to boil real good. I'm going to let that boil for two or three minutes. So I'll just gab while we're cooking. It's boiling real good. I wish y'all could see it, but you can see the smoke. And now it's really boiling up. Okay, come on, boil, boil. Um... Anyway, I was hungry, so I went in their little deli area to see what I could find to eat. I walked around. I mean, everything was no, 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 no. And then I saw they had this, this little area where they had all types of hot dogs, uh, Polish sausage, and different, you know, all different kinds of Polish sausage, turkey sausage, chicken sausage. I mean, they just had a line up, and then they had the hot dog buns for you to put, put it in. Uh, they had some other things and had it all really where you could help yourself. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and get a Polish sausage and put it in a bun. And then I'm gonna, before I eat it, I'm going to check it out and see how many calories it is. So I did. Uh, we went to where uh, the church is, where Rendell stays right now. And he gets, he gets a chef salad to eat. Now, he's got a problem with his esophagus and he can't eat solid foods. So everything he gets, he has to puree, and he puts it in a blender, and I mean, it's just liquid when he gets through. But, you know, if you can't eat, you got to do something. You have to get your nutrition. So that's the way he eats. He got a chef salad, and I got the Polish sausage. That's all I could find. Okay. So we went back to the church, and I got on Google, or got on my, my Fitbit thing to see how many calories, and Lord mercy, that Polish sausage was like 200 calories. So I didn't eat the bun. I just sit there and ate the polish sausage, but I don't think it hurt me. It was okay. You know, you can do that once in a while. You can go out and eat. Just be careful what you eat and, and know that you've got to take note of how many calories you are eating. And still, you know, if you think that way and you're thinking, well, if all i got to do is just eat low calorie, I could eat a candy bar or I could eat this or that. No, no, no. Stay healthy. Stay off of sugar. Stay off of carbs. Stay off of carbonated drinks. All that is unhealthy for you. And if you'll start... Uh, eating healthy and then mainly washing your calories you can eat a lot more okay I think we got that going good enough and it seems like it's softening up because I, I uh, sliced them with that little spaghetti while ago make it spaghetti type things I don't think I can lift that up let's see if we can so you can see look at that it's sort of stringy and that's the zucchini I just really, uh, I don't know, someday I may give in and let y'all see that funny video that I did showing Melody how I learned how to use that thing yesterday. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way so it don't get on my last nerve. Okay, move the scale out of the way. I weighed the sausage. We used two ounces. Okay, now I am ready to put the handful of the... Fresh Harvest Blend, it's got kale, it's got cabbage, what did I say, uh, the ingredients, kale, cabbage, broccoli, Napa cabbage, Napa cabbage, I didn't even realize it had broccoli in it until just now, okay, let's just put a handful of that in there, and that looks good, that's all I need, just a handful, okay, and now we're going to add <laughs> Almost like a real cooking show, in it? Now we're going to add the Hunt's tomato diced with rosemary and oregano. You can tell it I'm not with you today. I got some things on my mind I got to do. Gary called me just before I got set up. It's always Gary. He called me just before I got set up and said, we got a meeting at 4 o'clock and I've got to get a bunch of stuff together. And it about blew my mind. I went, what? I got to do what? Let me take care of something. Okay. That 
that onion got me going a while ago, so I had to straighten it. Wash my hands again. Okay, now, put this in here. It's really boiling good. Just dump it in. Anyway, when he told me that, I said, he said, and you need to call this person, and you need to tell them to be sure and be there. We've got an appointment at 4 o'clock. It's actually the VA wanting to meet us uh, about his mother, and it's sort of important. I <laughs> know it is. This, is. this is just fun, but what he was telling me was important. And I said, he said, can you call over there and make sure they're going to be there? I said, you know I'm in the middle of something. He said, oh, I'm sorry. He's, he's just good, you know. He's, he tries to not interrupt me. I wasn't even cooking yet. I wasn't even on the air, so to speak. I wasn't on Facebook. I was just planning everything. So I had to stop. It was five minutes to one. I had to stop what I was doing, and uh, I had to call the person there, and she said, sure, she'd be there. So then I had to call him back, blah, blah, blah. You get, I'm just rattling. But I finally got it set up, and then I turned the camera on. So here I am, and I'm just I'm just scattered today. But we are making soup, and it is good soup because I ate some of it today. Uh, hi, Martha. Uh, that's Martha Jackson from DeWitt. Glad you joined me. We are making kale zucchini soup, and it is delicious. And we, now we've got that boiling just a little bit. I'm, I'm keeping it at a pretty high temperature to sort of keep it hot and keep it bubbly. And now I'm going to add my sausage and my onion that I cooked a little bit earlier. Just dump it in there. Yesterday I really had a mess in this kitchen. I don't remember what I was doing, but I, oh, what was it? I, everything I did, I, I, it's like if I picked something up, I dropped it. I couldn't hang on to anything. Y'all ever had a day like that where you just couldn't hang, hang on to nothing? Well, I'm fixing to let this go. Okay. There went that. Oh, I wish, I wish y'all could see this. Uh, I hadn't got the tomato paste in there yet. i got to get my tablespoon measuring. Okay, and and all the tomato paste does it to me. It sort of gave it a little bit stronger flavor. Uh, tomato paste uh, on the tomato side, and I could maybe have used less, but it gives it a really good texture. And just stir it with that, so you get all that out in there. Oh, it is really looking good. And let's see. Let's make sure that I got everything, all the ingredients in there. I got the sausage, two ounces of sausage. I got uh, the two cups of bone broth, bone chicken broth, two cups of water, one zucchini, and it's sliced with the jetty thing, and a handful of kale mix, one uh, can of dried tomatoes, and you can you don't have to use the rosemary, that's just something in the oregano, that's just what I got. If you want to use the garlic or any other kind of spices in it, it depends on your taste. Uh, and a two tablespoons full of tomato paste. That this whole pot now comes to a total of 362 calories. I actually made five and 5.5 cups of that. I measured it out, so that comes to about 66 calories per cup. If I figured it right, young figure it yourself. I think, yeah. By the time I added everything in there, that's what it did. So the next thing now I'm going to do, and since I'm not going to need this cutting board anymore, I'm going to move it out of the way. And I've got to disappear again for a second. I've got to get out of this drawer and get my little blender that I use for soups. And that sort of keeps everything from being chunky. I don't completely make it liquefied. I just give it give it enough to where that it makes everything sort of a little bit smoother and sort of halfway pureed, I guess. I've got a little extension cord over here I'm using. You know, I'm hoping that when I get my new kitchen, I've got the smallest kitchen. If y'all could see it, I don't have any cabinet space. This is my stove area. Here's my refrigerator. And I've I got a sink and just a little bit of counter over there. And then I've got my washer and dryer over there in the corner. So I have no kitchen space. But I use what little bit i got. I use it wisely. Okay. Now, let's stir that a little bit. I wish y'all could see. Y'all see that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Watch what you're doing, Brenda. Okay. Let's clean that up. We got it done. Now, that was a good bite, too. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it's, I'm coming back to myself now. Okay. 
When I do those kind of things, I go, that's me. That's the Brenda I was looking for. Okay, now, we're going to get this going. Yeah, I'm going to use the, uh, start off with the low. I'm going to turn the fire down just a little bit. Here we go. My phone's over there just beeping at me. I don't know who that is. Okay. Now, you just, oh, I'm going to use a high button. Okay, here we go. I mainly want to get the tomatoes pureed a little bit because I don't like chunky tomatoes. And in with that, you're going to get a little bit of everything else. But I like the, the kale. I like to see the kale. So I'm watching for tomatoes. There's a tomato. There's one. I'm just mainly getting those tomatoes pumps pureed. I'm not going to show y'all again. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little dipper and show y'all how it looks. Oh, y'all. I wish y'all could see this. It looks so good. Okay. So this right there. But I am going to show y'all, and I'm going to put it in a bowl here in just a second, and we'll have to taste of it. But look at here. Oh, can y'all see that? Okay, let me get the, I'm going to get the iPad. Here we go. Bring it over here. Now, see, I know that there's a button that you can use to turn this around the iPad around but I have a case on my iPad and so if I'd have known I was going to do this I'd have took it off so I could turn around but I didn't but this is really looking good now I'm fixing to turn the fire down and I'm going to set the iPad back here where you can see what I'm doing if it don't fall over and I don't lose you okay and I don't think I got it back exactly like I did have it. Okay, that's all right. And I'm going to turn the fire down, and I'm mainly going to let it simmer, but I'm going to put a little bit of it in a bowl, and I'm going to taste of it and show y'all what. Maybe if you, maybe you can see a little bit. But y'all really ought to make this. It's, it's healthy, and it's good for you, and it's less than 75 calories a bowl. If you really want to exaggerate, it's not 75 calories a bowl, about 66 and okay and let's put a lid on this uh, it's not the one that goes on it but it'll work for now okay and i'm just going to set that on that back burner and put that on no okay here we go look at this i cannot turn that bow to where y'all can see it okay y'all see the bite look at that look at that it's just pureed, and it's got a texture. Every once in a while, I see a little bit of tomato there. And it's got the little strings of the spaghetti, like the zucchini. But now for the taste. Here we go. Mmm. Very good. That is wonderful. And it's even going to be better after it sits for a bit. Time's just about it. I did that perfect. So, I'm glad that y'all came today. <laughs> it was crazy today. I just wasn't there. It's just me. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to change. So, whatever you see is what you get. I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, I don't know uh, if during the summer if I'll be able to stay on this regular schedule, but I'm going to try to do it at least once a week. I'm usually around the house, so why not? I'll be probably be cooking out more. I'm going to try to get some people to come over. Wouldn't that be fun? Anna, Anna, why don't you come see me from California? <laughs> hey, Skip. I think I missed your birthday the other day. But, uh, yeah, I just made the soup. And I just took a bite of it because I've already eat two cups for lunch. And that's really all I needed. But it's so good. And uh, y'all need to buy this. Come on over. Bye.